Okay, I got the wiring board ready. Uh, so uh, the reason you'll need this is you need to uh, get some way to to tense up the wires somewhat. You don't have to have them tight, tight, but uh, you want to have a little bit of a twang to them. And so they sell, they, like I said, they sell these online. You can use, you know, just your hand pressure too. I, I did that for years. If you use that, if you do it that way, you have to invest in some thimbles because it can cut into your fingers. But you want to set your your uh, frame into your jig, and you can see my frame is just a tiny bit off square there. Uh, but it, you know, fits in the jig no problem. You're going to sink. You're going to start two nails in here. So grab two nails. Uh, preferably, these are are you know fairly short nails uh, with with decent heads on them. So you, I I put one just on the inside of the furthest hole. You can see the furthest hole there. And then this one I put closer just because of the way my jig is set up. I put it closer to the second hole. And the reason is, is just because the way this this wire comes out of this frame, I mean out of this wiring jig, uh, it tends to be a straighter pull closer to here. Even though it, you know coming out, out of here it's easier for me to pull it over there. So then what you want to do, and this takes some practice, but uh, you want to pull your wire. Now I have a little cam lock here that I just kind of came up with. And you want to pull your wire. Just be careful you don't let go of the wire and uh, get poke you in the eye because it does come out of there pretty good. And you're just going to start feeding it zigzag through the frame. There's going to be some waste with this method too. You're not going to use all that wire. And uh, what you want to do is keep keep the wire that's in the frame itself from wire that's ever been crimped. So you can see how this was crimped when I put it, you know, when I stored it last time. I want to feed it through this hole and go past the point where any of that crimping was. Wrap it a minimum of three times. that nail in and you got it set. Once you got that nailed in there, uh, what you're going to do is, is tighten it up. So what you do is you just manually pull this back and then what you, you're going to pull on the wires and with each wire that you pull it loosens that wire so that you can tighten it using the next wire. And then pull on that, just twist that back. So you can do that with, you know, most frame jig, jigs you can buy on the on the on the net or on the online. Once they're pretty tight, what you really don't you don't want to look just for a specific tone because each of these tones will make uh, it'll make different tones, of different wire. You can do that once you're used to that wire. What you do want to do is once this end bar starts to bow from the pressure, you're good. So you know on mine I lock it, and that allows me to pull wire and keep it taut. Again, wrap it around the nail three or four times. Pound your nail in. Then you just twist the wire off. And you're done wiring, you know, that frame. And continue. I'm not going to do another one, so I'm going to, I'm going to put this as I normally store it. Uh, and then, you know, if you, if you don't have this, obviously, you know, most people don't have that. But as you tighten it up, you know, you can just grab it and do the same thing while maintaining tension on the, the wire itself. But that's it for wiring a frame. That's usually, you know, the step that gets most people. It's the hardest part of the whole process, and it's the one that infuriates most new beekeepers that I've ever uh, mentored. Hey, everyone. Uh, I kind of, I, I put the camera as, in, a, in as good a view of this, this frame as I can. Try to keep my hands out of the way. Uh, but this is the same jig that I showed you earlier. Uh, and what I did is, uh, when I made it, I, I put these removable inserts, so these two pieces are removable. So if I want to make deep frames, I just pull these two pieces off, pull the bolts out, and then, uh, then I can do deep frames. If I want to do mediums, which I only use deeps or mediums, uh, then I put these inserts back in. Uh, 
and I have, hopefully you can see a little piece of uh, eighth inch oak that I glued down on here because the deeps, will, it, it helps the deeps with the same thing so the, the frame has a little indentation in it so to keep it you know, flat I put that little piece in there. There's a little bit of movement but not much but that works with the deeps and with the mediums as well uh, so it's permanently in there and then these two come out or go back in so the reason I'm doing showing you this is because with medium frames there's some slight differences uh, it's actually the same process exactly as you use with the deep with deeps you have four wires so when you pull on each wire it subsequently tightens each wire but on a medium frame you only have two wires going through it's a one wire looped through and so every time you pull on one wire you're pulling against it on the other wire so I've had a couple people ask me well how do you tighten those uh, I, I can't seem to get mine tight so I wanted to show you so here's the a medium frame. I've already sunk my two uh, nails in there, started them. Uh, and I know you can't see this part. Pull your wire and you thread your wire through just like you would uh, with a deep, except this time you're only using half the amount of wire. And it helps, you know, you, to learn exactly how much wire you need to pull, you know, to get it pretty close. And it's pretty hard if you if you try to you know just use the tip of this wire and you know and be real real judicious with your wire it gets kind of hard on your fingertips so I usually leave enough so that I don't have to worry about doing that your fingertips get kind of raw anyway so you can't see this now but I'm gonna put traction on the wire and you can see I can stick some dikes in there on this wire in through here so you can see it's pretty loose so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some tighten, I'm tightening on this wire, which is pulling on this one. And all you do is you pull on this to tighten it. And then before you, before you let it go, you grab this one. So you pull and then you do this. And then just do that a few times back and forth. And every time you wiggle that, you're, you're pulling on the wire. And as you're pulling on the wire, every time you wiggle it, it, it just you know tightens it a little bit more so this is pretty tight uh, and I've got my clamp on so then you just pull your wire through and you're done so uh, in a nutshell it's the same exact process as you as you would use for uh, a deep but since you have the two wires and they're constantly pulling against each other, it, it requires a little bit of a different uh, mindset, I guess you'd say. So that's how you do a uh, medium as opposed to a deep. Some mediums have three wires and they're even easier to do than this. So this is about the hardest uh, type of frame you can do. So.